Laser is an acronym for light amplification by the stimulated emission of radiation. Lasers emit light that is highly directional. Laser light is emitted as a relatively narrow beam in a specific direction. Ordinary light such as coming from the sun, a light bulb or a candle is emitted in many directions away from the source. The light emitted from a laser is monochromatic that is it is of one wavelength or color. In contrast, ordinary white light is a combination of many different wavelengths or colors. The light from a laser is said to be coherent which means the wavelengths of the laser light are in phase in space and time. To understand how a laser works, you first need to know that electrons sit at various orbits with energy bands within an atom. You can think of these bands as individual steps on a staircase. In their default state, all electrons sit on the first step of this staircase which is considered the electron's ground state. If you then zap the right amount of energy into an electron, you can get it move up a step. This process is called absorption where the electron absorbs the energy shot into it and in the process its energy level is elevated to the next step or band. In this higher energy state the electron is considered to be excited but also unbalanced. To restore balance the electron releases the original bit of energy that it absorbed in the form of a photon or particle of light. This release of energy is called spontaneous emission. Here the electron loses the energy that it initially gained and steps back down to the first step. First an electric current will make the flash lamp turn on and off which will excite the electrons in the medium. These excited electrons in their hydrogen state then return to their ground state and give off a photon of light by the process of spontaneous emission. These photons zip all around the medium bouncing off the mirrors and exciting other electrons into heightened states. This causes more photons to be emitted via the process of stimulated emission. Before long you have more excited than grounded electrons which creates a population inversion. The two mirrors keeps the photons bouncing back and forth in the medium but one of the mirrors is slightly less reflective and lets some of the photons through. The photons that scape find their way out into the world as a concentrated and powerful beam of laser light.